Hey everyone, welcome to class. Today's flow is how to make basic yoga poses a little bit more challenging. And I wanted to do this one because I know many of you have been doing yoga for a little while, and while good old fashioned sun salutations are awesome, sometimes it is nice to have in the back of our minds ways that we can up the intensity when we feel like we need it. So we're gonna go through three pose tutorials and I'll show you how to make them more challenging without disrupting the entire flow of the class that you're in. Now, another thing I wanted to remind you of is make sure you watch the class all the way till the end because if you haven't heard yet, there's a really exciting announcement that I want you to hear. So besides that, for today's flow, you don't need any special props and whenever you're ready, we'll go ahead and get started. For today's class, I want you to start in child's pose. So go ahead and flip over. We're gonna take a few breaths, uh, just in some light poses to warm the body up, and then we'll move right into the tutorial and we'll flow it out a little bit together. So from child's pose, sit the hips back, relax the upper body down. And just let the chest drop if that feels good. And we'll just take a couple breaths here. And from where you are, press into the hands. Come up and we'll take a couple rounds of cat-cow. So exhaling, round the back. Inhale, pull the chest through. Exhale, round. Feel free to go at your own pace. Just moving with your breath. And let's take one more each way. Inhaling. Exhaling. And take it back to neutral. Go ahead and come back to a downward facing dog. This is our first pose tutorial. One way that I like to make down dog a little bit more challenging is to simply take one hand back. And you can do that in a couple different ways. So you can take, for example, if you're on your left side, you can do your left hand, you can keep it down just under the shoulder, or you can reach it straight back. So obviously as you flow, you'd be switching sides with each, with each um, pass of a sun salutation. So this just allows you to kind of focus your efforts on the shoulders. Either taking the hand down, reaching it back. And again, with each pass through a sun salutation, you'd be alternating. So each side would end up being even. And I'm just showing you, you can do it along with me, or you can not. And again, down dog is also great for the shoulders and everything else on its own. So that's just an option that you can use to make it more challenging when you need that little bit of extra work. Come down to the knees. We're gonna come right to our next tutorial and that's Chaturanga. So a Chaturanga push-up is something that's quite challenging on its own for many of us, but sometimes as your practice grows, as your practice uh, moves forward and progresses, you wanna be able to add a little bit more spice uh, when it feels like you could use a little more work. So in that case, so we'll do regular Chaturanga together and then we'll move into how to make it more challenging when you want to. So typical chaturanga is wrists somewhere under the shoulders. Maybe you shift your weight forward and we lower down halfway. Take knees down. Now to make it more challenging, again, with each pass through a sun salutation, you'd be alternating sides. But you can lift one leg in the process of pressing down. So in that case, it would look like this. From your plank, you'd lift, let's say the left leg up, shift forward, lower down and then you just flow through as usual, whatever that looked like. So we'll do the other side together one more time. And again, you can even keep the knees down as you lift the leg. So making it challenging while still keeping it accessible, always a cool option, right? <laughs> so we'll do the other side together. Right toes lift, shift forward, lower down. And you'd flow through as you normally would. Maybe sit back, <laughs> meet me in downward facing dog. We're gonna come through our last pose tutorial for this particular one. And this one will be warrior two. So coming through to warrior two on the right side, just so we're all together. Go ahead and take your time to get set up. A standard warrior two is pretty straightforward, but one way that I like to kind of 
up the intensity a little bit is to simply come up to the ball of the right foot. So the ball of the front leg, especially when you're holding for maybe several breaths at a time, this adds another dimension to the pose that kind of forces you to keep your focus on your alignment and it adds a little bit more work to the calf and to the hip and the rest of the leg. We can switch sides. And I like these modifications because they're pretty easy to incorporate without losing the flow of the class that you're taking. So you can add them in pretty much wherever without disrupting the pace or the speed of it. Take it down. Now we're gonna run through a couple of sun salutations where I'll give you the option to add these modifications in, okay? So we'll do it together. Come to the top of your mat, feet under the hips. Bring the hands to the heart center, take a couple breaths. Just finding your focus. Reconnecting with your breath. And when you're ready, let's flow. Open the eyes. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, upper body drops down. Inhale, lift the chest halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and breathe in. Step the feet back to plank. Shift your weight forward. Either knees down, left leg lifts, whatever option you want to take. Or as I showed you, left leg up. Lower halfway. Inhale, come to cobra or up dog. And sit it back, downward facing dog. In your down dog, remember you can stay here for traditional down dog. Left hand can come to the center, or you can reach it straight back. Make sure to roll the left shoulder back, but keep the chest square. Inhale fully. Exhale, left hand down. Let's do left side warrior two. Left foot forward, right heel spins down. Open it all the way up. Take your time to get settled. So alignment is still really important. Make sure you feel good in the pose. And then you can pop up to the ball of the left foot. Keep dropping the hips down. Drop the left heel, circle the hands all the way around, step back to plank, lift the right leg up, lower down. Inhale for cobra or up dog. Sit it back, downward facing dog. Pause here, remember your options. You can stay put, you can walk the right hand back halfway, maybe reach it all the way back. Roll the shoulder back, but keep the chest dropping down. Exhale, come back to neutral. Looking to the hands, step the right foot between the palms. Left heel spins down. Come all the way up. Warrior two. So remember your options. Take a moment to get settled. Once you're ready, come up to the ball of the right foot. Bending the knees. The knee. Take one more inhale. Exhale, right heel drops. Circle the hands around. Step back to a downward facing dog. Hold there. Shift your weight forward, feet together, knees apart. Find child's pose. Sit the hips back. Coming to exactly how we started. Just let the breath come back to neutral. From where you are, go ahead and press up. Find a comfortable seat so that you're sitting evenly on the hips. The shoulders are relaxed. And then your next breath in, sweep the arms up overhead, press the hands together, and exhale them right down to the heart center. 
Let the eyes blink open. Namaste. I have a very special announcement to make, but first, I really need to tell you how much this means to me. From the time when I first started teaching yoga, I was always committed to making sure that every single person who came to my classes felt like they had just as much right to be there as anyone else. Back in 2013, I decided to create the 30 Day Yoga Challenge. And this challenge was part of my goal to make yoga more accessible to anyone who wanted to try it and to drop the preconceptions that existed already about what it meant to be a yogi. Fast forward just a little bit, and to all of our surprise, the 30 Day Yoga Challenge became this international phenomenon in the yoga world, garnering over 11 million views on YouTube. We had to separate from the platform that the 30 Day Challenge was on originally, and that meant that it was taken down. But this challenge meant so much to me, and it was really, really important that we bring it back. Over the past couple of years, I've received so many messages from people about the challenge, telling me how it changed their lives, it helped them lose weight, and in some cases even helped them overcome illnesses. So this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Are you ready? Starting October 1st, 2016, the 30 Day Yoga Challenge is coming back. And as I promised, this will always be 100% free. And I am just so excited because I know how much this means to you, and it means that much to me as well. But enough from me. Go ahead and sign up by clicking the link below or in the description, and you'll get a brand new class every single day for 30 days starting October 1st. I'm so excited and I can't wait to get started with you on this challenge, but until then, I'll see you right back here for class on Monday.